Hey guys, welcome back to another Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battle. We have a battle against Devon, and uh, this was a pretty good battle uh, because uh, he does have a protection for fire moves. He has that uh, Tranata that is just scary, just sitting there and looking at me with those eyes. Uh, this person actually is from my area, so I'm happy I battled somebody who actually pretty good in my area. Uh, from Montreal, Quebec, if you guys don't know. Uh, home of the French people. Oh, no, just kidding. Uh, not all, uh, not all of us speak French. But, uh, I brought the same team as before. Uh, I'm trying to get rid of all my mom wire battles. Uh, so, please bear with me. Uh, there's different teams with mom wires. I have to get, I want to get them out first. Because he, it got banned. Uh, upcoming battles are going to be mostly... One Pokemon on them, oh, my opponent has it with banned Pokemon, that's about it. So, next two or three weeks, please bear with me. Uh, I promise you, they are pretty good. Uh, so let's hop in this battle. Enough of me chit-chatting. Damn, that take a clean, uh, minute. So, I start with my Azelf, he start with his Noivon. Jeez. <clears throat> So, uh, I stay in, I know he's going to be faster than me, I know I can live with a Focus Sash, so, as he went for the Draco Meteor, I set up my rocks. Uh, so, uh, he switched out first to his, uh, Excadrill, uh, if I could predict that and use his Fire Blast, but I switch out too, in, in case he chooses to go with another Draco Meteor. Uh, so, I got a sw I switch out also, but, so, I set up my Mawile. I got the Timidity on him, so any attack he gonna give me won't do a lot. So I'm Mega Evolve. Uh, he actually went for the Rapid Spin, just to get rid of those rocks. That did 4 damage. Uh, so I hit him up with that Fire Fang. Uh, a lot of people got surprised when I has it. I have it on my uh, mobile. So his rapid spinner is dead, and I still have my rock, my rock person, rock person, my uh, uh stuff rocks person. So I'm gonna switch out because there's a magma Pokemon in my face. I sent out my uh, Noivern, nice shiny and green. Uh, so he fall flame fall in my face. He tried to cook me. So I went for the dog pose. I actually got a critical hit, but unfortunately, I don't control the hex, and I got the flinch. So that sucks. I went for the dog pose. That takes it out. Then you saw his noise button. I, I actually predicting the Jericho Media, so I switch out. I'm actually choice back, so I got stuck in uh, fire move. So this. I'm uh, not going to do much, not into my like, Cafebo. Then the U-turn to his, uh, uh, hint something that counters me. <laughs> he switched into his Caesar, I think. I don't have fire moves on this, so Caesar can just w knock me flying. I actually just went for the knockoff, in case he chooses to try to stay in. So the knockoff, I'm not doing nothing to Caesar. I gotta get out of there because I don't want to get hit by a bullet punch. Uh, so now I set up mana bars, a, a complete wall for Caesar. So hit me with that X Caesar. Looking at that damage, that actually did a lot because I have max health and max defense. Then I hit with that foul play. I actually, how you get a critical hit on foul play? I got a critical hit. It uses your opponent attacks against you. Basically, uh, you know, my, hit my opponent, his attack against me. How can I get a critical hit on 90, 90 damage? That's weird. So, I don't know why he went for the sword dance, then he went for the mega evolution. That is a bad play, he just sh should just switch out, he shouldn't have to lose his mega. So, he went for the bullet punch, he actually got a critical hit, but I'm eating it up. Uh, so, I hit that with a foul play, and... Uh, there's no ending of uh, Caesar left. They come back to a cipher. They lost the steel type. So uh, 
I got my left photos. And he sent out Janinja. I'm predicting the Ice Beam because I'm a flying type. I don't think he's going to use other moves against me. So I sent out Cafebo. Cafebo can completely wall Janinja. Well, not for a long period, but it can wall it. Uh, so hit me with that uh, Ice Beam. Uh, that didn't even take me to ha half. So, uh, he then he went to the substitute Geninja, finally is here. I never, I don't see this often. He probably predicted me to switch. Actually, I went for the Sajimitas. <clears throat> I don't see Sajimitas, I don't see substitute Geninja often. So, substitute is set damage, it probably will break, uh, substitute in any, every, any Pokemon. So, uh, he went for the Ice Beam again. Uh, you saw before, it did like a lot, it, it did a reasonable amount, it didn't do a lot, but it, like, do before half. So I hit him with a Sanjima Toss. Left photos Ninja, that is out of this world. I don't see left photos Ninja often. So he withdrew because no one can't kill me in one hit. Sent out Trenata. But uh, I actually, uh, after he tried to use Sandstone. I actually went for the Soft Boil in case he did attack me so I can live another hit. So I'm at full health now. Uh, then he went for the Stone Edge. That uh, is, that actually did way too much. And his choice banded. That is way too much. Yeah, Choice Banded Stone Age almost destroy my uh, cafe and turn into a Gengar. So I gotta switch out. That Stone Age would still take me out without Choice Ban or whatever that item was. So I sent out Marwile. He predicted the switch very well. That's kind of. I just predict any because I'm gonna lose. So I stay in. I This Marwile is very slow. It doesn't outspeed this Gengar. A uh, Gengar. This trying to tell, let him take out my uh, Mega. Don't worry guys, I got a better Gengar. So I set out Azel, just set out the rocks and then I uh, get beat. Uh, he went for the Crunch. I just want the rocks out so his Pokemon can take damage. And the Sandstone is over. Then I sent him out Rosary. I I hope he switched out. Good. Getting interesting. Uh, I switched out just uh I actually went straight for the Giga Drain, so this is a, not the best switch in. So he got his life sucked. There's a no even this definitely outspeeds me. I gotta get out of there. So I withdrew, predicting the, uh, actually predicting the Draco Meteor again, but if not, then I don't mind losing it. He actually went for the Hurricane, good job. So, that take me out, my fat Pokemon. So I sent out my Noivern, uh, my Noivern is actually outspeed his, for some reason, or oh, I got lucky. So I went the Dragon Pulse, uh, that take it out, I am Choice Specs. I think the other choice specs I should take it out. I need to calculate that. So since I lock it in Dragon Pulse, I... After Stuff Rocks and Sandstone. Jeez. Uh, I gotta switch out because I'm locked into Dragon Pulse and this this in Stone Edge me all day long. I sent in Nana Buzz. I think it was a very bad choice. I don't have too many flying... I only have a lot of flying types left. So... Nana Buzz get destroyed. I uh, sent so out Rosary. Rosary can actually do it this turn of time. So I went to the Giga Drain. <clears throat> that actually did a lot because it's super effective. Then he hit me with that Dragon Claw. Then he activate my Poison Point. Now he is Poison and uh, I'm not really faster than this turn of time. This is last Pokemon, guys. Wasn't it too old? It wasn't that bad. I don't have two Pokemon left. 
So this Giga Drain is definitely enough to take it out. He should just use Earth Creek. That shouldn't have activate my ability. So that is game. Uh, please like, subscribe, and comment. Thanks for watching. There's be another battle tomorrow, and bye.